Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, I know it's been a long time, man. You know, um, I'm going to do this live chat. Get out the way. Go ahead and do this thing. I'm not going to be too loud or too long. What have you been? <laughs> I've been doing me. Give us a heads up. I know, man. I tried. You know, I'm trying to do this at the spur of the moment. You know, whoever catch this, catch it. You know. So I'm gonna give it give it a little bit of time, and um, and you know, let some people come in. I know it's late, but if you want to talk to me, text me on WhatsApp. Don't call the phone. Text me on. I mean, call it on WhatsApp if you want to call. Call on, um, you on a Nokia, Nokia phone? No, I'm not on a Nokia phone. Call me on WhatsApp if you want to talk to me, man. Let some people come in here. Hey, shout out to Sister King. I know this is spur of the moment. Let me see how many people come in here. I'm going to start at the five minute mark. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? Hey, shout out where y'all from, by the way. You know, I'm not in the States. Shout out where y'all from. Put where y'all from on the map. We're going to wait for some more, some more people to come in here. Then I'm going to start at the five minute mark. Hey, shout out to all these places, man. Texas, Florida, Kansas City, Canada. What's up, man? Shout out to all these places. Y'all hit the like button. I know this is spur of the moment type live screen. I normally don't do them because I don't like doing them. You know, shout out to ATL and stuff like that, Georgia. Shout out to California, Cali, and all them places like that, Dallas. I'm going to start at the five minute mark. Hey, shout out to um, Mobile, Alabama, DMV, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Oh, Columbia. What's up, Columbia? All right, man, let's go ahead and start, man. Hey Google, turn the um, volume down. All right, can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Hey Google, pause that song. All right. I'm about to go ahead and start, man. So, all right. So, like I said, if y'all want to call in, the chat, I mean, the number is in 
the you know the description also in the chat okay <laughs> everything i know you know i'll pause so all right so the title of this video is the false deception that your ex is giving off through you know any rebound relationships so when they enter the new relationships they have to give this perception that they are happy over there and everything is going well everything is going good because they don't want to face the fact that they might be jumped into another failed relationship nobody want to address themselves as failure and nobody want to be seen as doing stupid ass making stupid decisions so that's therefore they have to put a perception an image a gimmick <laughs> you know exactly no, they're not really happy think about it if somebody really happy why they gotta broadcast it you know unless they're a low self-esteem person hey what's up shout out to Cal. okay to the people that texting me and all that stuff hey shout out to y'all too you know make sure y'all get them likes up it's not gonna be long it's gonna be short you know I'm about to... to the people that texting me man can y'all not text me i put the number in the live screen call this your only time to call call so the thing is what i'm trying to say is man look they're not happy you know One second, y'all. Give me one second. Hey, Google, resume playing that song. Hey, Google, pause that song. All right, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> you know, people hit me up all the time, like nonstop. So like what I said, like I was saying where I left off at, people want to give this false perception of they're happy, they're doing good. Just kind of like when you get on social media, people post all these types of false illusion, like they're rich, they're doing good in life, they got the best car and clothes and things of that nature. But in real life, they might be broke and poor and dirty and nasty and jobless and homeless. See, people don't post what really goes on. People post a delusion, an illusion, what they want you to know. So don't go by what you see. We don't go by what people know, what you see. You just take a grain of salt with that stuff. Not to say you should be watching what they're doing anyway. Don't never watch what they're doing, you know. Okay, man. Okay. See, <laughs> so the people you call. That's the only time to call. You can call. Put the number in WhatsApp. You can call. No matter where you're located in, on planet Earth, you can call me. It's okay. Right now, it's okay to call. Nah, stop. They talking too damn much. <laughs> hey, whoever this dude is, man. You know, I'm seeing your live post on YouTube now. Okay. Hey, thank you, dude. Um, you know, I'm not going to read your long ass message because you could have called in and tell me. I'm not going to stop talk to the people to read your message, man. Hey, stay balanced. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, call in on WhatsApp, man. So, well, like I was saying, back to what I'm saying, I'm trying to stay focused, y'all. So, once they leave out of your relationship, and they have this fear. The number one fear, pay attention to this. Y'all can write this down. They, a lot of people, number one fear is being alone. Being alone. That fear will make people jump into unhealthy relationships. Being, they, they, it, that fear make them connect and be in a relationship with a downgrade person or less of a person. They will leave you and just like, they have to be with somebody because some people have a fear of not getting sex no more. 
they have a fear of no, no companionship. Shout out to North Carolina, man. So um, things of that nature. They feel like they need someone else to compete, complete them. How can you find your purpose? Um, the best way to find your purpose is doing the things you love the most. You're gonna have to fail at a couple things, and when you, you know, then the thing that you love the most doing, that's how you do it. Stacks, what up, man? Hey, if y'all wanna call me like my homeboy Stacks, y'all gonna have to hit me up on WhatsApp because I'm not in the U.S. right now. You know, hey, just be real. Hey, what's up, y'all? You know, like I say. The numbers is in the description, the title. If you want to call, what's up, people? You want to call, hit me up on WhatsApp, and we can talk. And you can tell the, the world your story. But until then, let's continue rolling. So they put this false illusion out, hoping that you'll buy in it. See, the most powerful thing that you have that they want, you can write this down, is your reaction your reaction to their situation gives them power your reaction to any situation give that situation power so be careful what you give your you know your energy to your time to what you react to your attention is power too let me say that again the things if you react to what they doing, you giving what they doing power. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take another break. To the people that coming in, saying, "Hey, I ain't seen you in a while, Warren. It's nice to see you, man. Hey, man, I'm doing good. You know, I'm great. I just don't do live streams like that. You know, hey, take away that. exactly, man. So the thing is, another thing too, I want y'all to know." The whole time, the whole time, you got power over your situation. Because the thing is, the energy that they think they have and the things that you're doing, they doing, you giving it power by giving by reacting to it. If you don't react to what they do, they have no power or dominion over you. <laughs> Nah, man, that's in Japan and China. That's on the other side of the earth, man. I'm on the other side, you know. And so, so, you know, just, I'm just, goddamn. Yeah. All right, so the thing is, man, I want y'all to know, man, I'm over here. If this live screen cut off, I'm going to pick up on my other phone, you know. But I just want to you know I got the other phone here for phone calls if y'all want to call. Hold up, man. So just put one. Just put like for the people that trying to call, just put one then the number. Give me a second. Give me a second because a lot of people trying to call in right now. What's that back is stupid. Give me a second. Let me take another quick pause, y'all. Hey, Google. Play that song. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Sorry, something went wrong. Bitch, play the song. Why are you talking about all that? Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> anyway, give me a second. All right, y'all got it. The area code the, um in there also, so y'all can go and um call. Hey, Google, pause that song. So, like I was saying. Your power come from what you do not let yourself get dragged into. So let me explain that a little bit more for the people that always ask me, what do you mean when you say letting yourself get dragged into? See, the thing is, 
when you interact with somebody you shouldn't be interacting with, you letting yourself get dragged into a situation you shouldn't be in. When you work in a job and be stressed out, you be working a you you in a situation that you shouldn't be in. So think about it. Don't let yourself get dragged into situations you shouldn't be in. Your power coming from your power come from what you do not do and get dragged into. So because everything you do come at a cost. It comes at a cost. To the people who need to hear this, you know, when you look at your previous level page with their new little fling and all that stuff, it causing you peace and sleep. You're supposed to be healing. See, well, a lot of people don't understand and don't know. Going through relationship breaks up, breakups and things of this nature is is similar to being on drugs. It's similar to being on crack. You don't have to smoke a crack pipe, but going through what you're going through. Having a bruise and hurt ego is the same as being on drugs. Think about it. This is the part where I let y'all think. You know, don't block this. Exactly. So a lot of people talk about the home. I'm going to talk about that too. Um, a lot of people want to always ask me, like, so since me and my you know, other partner not talking no more, so I block them and stuff like that. If you weak and cannot stop looking at that person page and what they're doing and who they're doing it with, yes, you need to block them because it's all about your healing. It's all about you getting to a spot where you were, where you was before you met that person. And this goes for friends, family members, co-workers, society, <laughs> society, you know, because the thing is, when you improve yourself, you give yourself power and you improve yourself and you teach yourself self-dominance. Then you teach yourself self-love, you know, things of that nature where you can go around the world and you're not really concerned about what people say or do, things of that nature. What people say about you, that's their business, you know, that's their thoughts. Who cares? Because at the end of the day, the only thought that matter is yours. Because you only listen to your thoughts. Only your thoughts moves you. Nobody else's thoughts move you. I can yell at you all goddamn day. But when you make a decision to move, to do something, then you do it. I can't do, make you do anything unless I got a pump, a pistol to your forehead. Then I, then even then you got a choice. You can like, man, I don't want to do it. I'm going to just die. <laughs> I'm going to just die. I'm just not going to do it. Everything you do, what I'm trying to say is this. Everything you do is a choice. Where you at right now in life is a choice, is the choices you made that you came up with. Your choices in life led you to the spot where you is right now. Just stop, pause for a second, look around and see where you is in life. If you're in a good spot, you're making good decisions. If you're in a bad spot, you need to examine your decision making because it's not leading you to a right place. You need to stop and think about what you're doing. Write down some of the things that you know that you need to be doing in your life. Write it down so you can stay on track, stay focused, you know, because it's all about focus. Remember, you're more smarter and sharper when you're alone. You don't need to be in a group. You don't need to be a part of nothing. You're sharper and stronger alone. You came in here alone, you're going to go alone. Your castle is not going to have bump beds. They're not going to have, you're not going to have joint caskets. You know, when you die, like I say, Jesus is not going to do a two for one special. Mm-mm, you gone by yourself. You beat them, we treat them. Hello? Hey, how you doing? I just, uh, I just downloaded the app. Hey, hey I'm just listening to uh, what you're saying. Yeah. And what? you're you're totally right. I have to like block this app because I'm putting up a friend's app. Where are you from? Where are you calling I'm from? from? Cali. Oh, Cali. What part of California? Cali. California uh, or Cali? I'm from San Diego. Oh, you're from San Diego. Okay, yeah, what's up? Cali. 
Okay, cool. Um, tell us a brief history of your story. I appreciate you calling in too. Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, there you go. And then, you know, it's all like, you know, he likes to cause, like, you know, little things. You know, he likes to cause little things. And then, you know, I'm like, 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 you So you've been with this person on and off for two years. In a two year time period. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it it took you two years to figure it out though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because in between because whenever we, we we argued, he'd always wanted to leave. And I'm mm. all like, You just in a hurry just to leave. I go, You always want to start a fight with me. I go, What if? I go, Is it it's somebody else? Just let me know. So you know, we could end this clean. You know, okay. So I'm you know, I wish you the best, yada yada. But then he he'd always like call me, and then I was always there for him and stuff. And then, you know, like a sucker, you know, I gave in, and then you know, we did, you know, we we got physical. And then next minute, you know, everything was all cool. And then all of a sudden, like he he turns to like you know turns to a rock again, and he wants to leave. We we came to these stupid arguments over nothing. Okay. All right. So, how is you yeah. improving? Tell me this. How you? How is you improving? How am I improving? Well, I'm improving. Well, it gets better. I mean, I still have my moments. Okay. You know, 